All right, shalom, shalom, shalom. I want to give our praise to our, our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, uh, through His Son, Yahweh Shai, through the Holy Spirit, recall HaKadosh, all right? And that's in the um, ancient Hebrew, all right? Our language, all right? I say our, and I say our powers, all right? I'm talking to the nation of Israel, okay? Because that's who the covenants belong to. That's who the uh, salvation belong to. That's who the, the promises uh, belong to. That's what the, who the new covenant belongs to, all right? That's what repentance belongs to, all right? That's it, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and also those, um, I'm going to say, those that are scattered around the mix, uh, around the four corners of the earth, all right? And you may look like the other nations, and our people will look like the other nations because they're scattered. And, you know, Jake like to have women, man. And when you get with the women, you're going to pop to women from the other nations. You're going to have kids, man. So our people look like the other nations, all right? So if your spirit agrees with this word, all right, you then you're an Israelite because no other nation will agree with the 100% truth of this Bible, all right? So... I want to get straight into it. This is America will be judged for its wickedness, for the philosophy, for its pride, for its blasphemy, for its going against the heavenly father word, for putting uh, for putting the Bible, all right, as the judgment book in America, but not following the damn thing in the book, man. All right. This, the, this, these are holy words of the most high sent down through the spirit on men, all right, to write it down, all right, and nowadays, it's, it's already, it's already written down for us to go into it and interpret it, all right, to abridge it, to break it down in layman's terms so that our people can receive the correction, which the only group of our people that will receive the correction is the elect, all right, the Most High has the elect people, all right, that's another lesson that he will save the whole nation of Israel won't be saved, all right? Just the elect, he has the elect, starting with the 144,000, which consists only of men that have the 100% truth of this word, man, all right? So this Proverbs 16 and 18, pride goeth before destruction and an haughty spirit before a fall. And pride is when oh, the Heavenly Father says something, all right? And have this big book of commandments, and you go against it, man. When the Heavenly Father have his men out there prophesying and giving correction, all right, and you go against it, all right. Well, when he, the Most High, have his men to speak a word, all right, that he placed his Holy Spirit on, his separate spirit. Holy just means separate from the wickedness of this word world. He placed his spirit on a man to tell you right from wrong and you go against it and that is pride man that is a haughty spirit you think you above the heavenly father man all right and america clearly doing this through its wine through its cup full of abomination all right is homosexuality man all right is completely vexed into the spirit man the uplifting of women women's liberation the the debasing of men. A uh, man ain't nothing but a, a goddamn grunt cave beast that has to that has no place in society but to worship his woman. That's ridiculous, man. All right? And many many other things, man. All right. Lies and then messed up history. All right, then um iconoclasm. You didn't paint it over our Lord's face. All right. And the true image of our Lord and the true the truth of our Lord being um, a so-called black man, being from the tribe of Judah, all right, and being dark-skinned, man. And you painting him as an Edomite with a pale, with, with no skin pigmentation and being pale, man, all right? So that's pride, man. And you have to be destroyed for that, man. You have to be taken out of power for your pride, man, all right? So there's... And let's get it, man. Let's get America being destroyed. All right? So you're going to go to Revelation 18. And this is talking about Babylon. This is not 
this is talking about Babylon, all right, and you break it down, it's talking about America. Through the spirit, we know this, and through priest upon priest, line upon line. And also, when you go into the scriptures, you have to know history, all right? You know the old Babylon, all right, was taken down by the Medes, all right, by uh, Darius, okay, the Mede. The kingdom was just transferred. It wasn't burnt by fire. It wasn't utterly destroyed because that kingdom, all right, Babylon is still inhabited today, which is in Iraq, all right? So you also have to know uh, geographical locations, all right? So this Revelation 18 and 7 is talking about the daughter of Babylon, man. Then it's... Um, this is Revelation 18 and 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. All right? And this is John on the island of Patmos. The disciple became apostle of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, which the word we call Jesus Christ. All right? And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, and become that habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit in a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. All right. So this is, is talking about America. Clearly, by process of elimination, it's not talking about old Babylon because Babylon is not um, dwelt in by hateful birds. It's dwelt in by, you know, Arabs and um, people, man. All right. So this is uh, Revelation 18 and 3. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. <laughs> all right. So the scriptures call it have drunk of the wine of the wrath. All right. So what the doctrine that America pushes is wrathful, man. It's nothing but hate and destruction to the, to the earth. All right. And to your heritage and to the people, man. All right. Of her fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, meaning these nations have made agreements and deals and accepted her way, uh, accepted her way of life. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And America sells billions of items, and these nations sell their items to America. So the this consumer nation can buy these items. That's how they wax rich, all right? You sell the people something, a lot of something, all the time, and they continually buying it. You're going to wax rich. So America is like that cash cow of the elite, all right? So this is clearly talking about America. It's not talking about the Vatican Church or um, what you would call Iraq today because nobody's looking at Iraq as a glorious kingdom. Nobody's getting rich off of Iraq. All right, everybody's making money off America. All right, Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Because the Amer America will be hit with thermonuclear missiles. All right, this said the Bible. All right, and um. And the Most High said, come out of her, meaning physically come out of her. The Most High is going to bring, deliver us out of this place by um, what you people know as UFOs, but they are the chariots of um, our Heavenly Father and the chariots of Israel. All right? So that's what that means. So we're going to be delivered out of here by chariots, and we're going to see, we're going to be looking down on this place. All right, from the chariots and seeing this, <laughs> this uh, place America being totally on fire, man, and it, the world's going to be on fire. Not all the world, but I say the world as different parts of the world will be hit by missiles. All right, and we're going to be seeing it, man. But this is going to be a main place where it's going. This is going to be the only place in the world where the land is going to be utterly destroyed. All right. And never to be inhabited again. For her sins have reached unto heaven, 
and the Most High hath rewarded her iniquities, man. All right? And everything that America pushes, all right, the other nations follow it. This this is that nation that every nation want to be like. So they can um, follow the trend, follow the wave, so they can take a part of this um, spirit of luxury, all right, this spirit of comfortable, because you have to follow America philosophy in order to, you know, be comfortable, all right, what they say, live a little, man, all right, but we ought to forsake this and say, I'd rather not endure, live good for this short period of time, but I'd rather live when I get to the kingdom of heaven, man, and this is not really living, all right, people are dead to the the truth, all right. So this is um Revelations Revelation eight and six. Reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her work. So the determination of the most high is to destroy this place, man. Alright? Alright, so it says uh double according to her works. So it's gonna be double like everything America did it's going to be double upon her, all the rape, rob, murder, men, shedding is a man, blood, all right? It's going to happen here on the American soil. It's going to be double, all right? And the cup, which she had filled, filled to her double. And America's filled a terrible cup, man, just terrible. Check her records, man. I think it's like 95 or 85% of the time that America's been ruling. They've been um, at war. With other nations, but it's really a hundred percent of the time, man. All right, because America is continually at war. <laughs> all right, war against their own people, and especially war against the children of Israel. All right, because the elite, the the um, what the Bible said, the Chaldeans is talking about the elite bankers, families. All right, of the house of Esau, they know who we are. All right, verse seven. How much? She have glorified herself and lived deliciously. And come on, bro. You look into the earth. What kingdom is thriving and going super hard? All right. Every nation want to come here. All right. So they can be a, so they can feel like a winner. This is that city, man. That great city. So much torment and sorrow give her, for she said in her heart, I said, a queen am no widow and shall see no sorrow. So that's the pride of this place. And like, nigga, I ain't going nowhere. The they, the, the elites in with thoughts that they kingdom should rule forever. All right? And they think this place, America, ain't going nowhere, man. All right? See, see no sorrow. And in verse 8, therefore shall her place come in. In one day, all right, in death and mourning and famine. So the Most High is determined to destroy this place. And she shall be utterly burnt with fire, for strong is the Lord who, the Lord power who judges her. All right, so the Most High is going to judge this place, America, okay? So this is uh, <laughs> Jeremiah 51. Um, 51 and 29, all right? Because, like, when you look at, read the scriptures with understanding, all right, there's no denying that this great city is talking about America. And Jeremiah also prophesied about America. Pro prophesied means to say before. So Jeremiah said this church was going to happen through the Spirit of the Lord before it would happen, man, all right? So this is Jeremiah 51 and 29, and, and it's talking about Babylon, okay? The same Babylon John seen the vision of, the same um, Babylon Jeremiah prophesied about, all right? And the, the land shall tremble in sorrow, for every purpose of Yahweh shall be performed against Babylon, and to make the land of Babylon a desolation with Without an inhabitant. So, like we read in Revelation 18 and 1, the same thing read in Jeremiah 51 and 29. It's never going to be inhabited only by doleful creatures, man. 
So the the scriptures say that, um, let me read it again. Jeremiah 51 and 29. And the Lord sh and the land shall tremble in sorrow. So this place is going to tremble and it's going to be in complete sorrow. All right. Starting with the plagues that's coming. And then ultimately the nuclear missiles is going to be the end all be all, man. All right. And, and it's beautifully so, man, because all this um, wickedness that's going on, Esau is completely mad. All right, Babylon is torturing the Israelites, man, especially the the uh, the believers. All right, nothing but wickedness is going on. Uh, niggas is crazy, drugs, um, pedophilia, um, whores, fucking Babylonian whores everywhere, homosexuality, um, just wicked ass music. All right, driving in traffic, all this shit is. Wicked man, all right. So America has to be destroyed, and the Lord said, "For every purpose of the Lord shall be performed against Babylon." All right. So the Lord said, "My purpose." All right. Let's look at this word. Let me see what this says about purpose. It says, "Uh." Machine plan. All right, so we read. It says, um, Makasha. Makasha. Makasha I think I'm saying that right. Maka. Makasha Bath. All right. It says, purpose. One of the definitions or synonyms is plan. All right. A plot. Okay. Uh, curious work. A device. Imagination. Okay. Uh, thought. So a plan, the, the most high plan, most high device, what he imagined, uh, what he mean, uh, his purpose, his thoughts, okay, is to, um, it says, every purpose of the Lord shall be performed against Babylon to make the land of Babylon a desolation without inhabitants. So, man, that's beautiful, man. This place is going to go down. And the Lord said, that when this place go down, that Esau should be the end of the world and Jacob should be the beginning of it that follow it. And then you read the last chapter, well, the last verse of Obadiah, it talks about how Esau is going to be the end and Jacob going to be the next to, to follow and to rule, man. All right? So I want to get this right quick. Let me see. Mm. Okay, this Second Peter three and eleven, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, talking about the thermonuclear missiles. All right, all the elements going to be dissolved, mean burnt up by that that very hot fire, man, that prime fire. What manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? All right, so that. What manner of person are you to be in all conversation, I meaning in your conduct and in godliness, man? All right? Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with every heat. All right? So we ought to be conducting ourselves righteously according to how the Lord told us to, man. Following the law statutes of and commandments properly, hastening to the day, being diligent, all right, praying to the Lord that these days be short, all right, you follow order, all right, and you follow these scriptures to the best of your ability, man, fighting, putting your, to uh, put your best foot forward, to proclaim the words uh, of Yahweh Shimei Shah, man, which is words of liberty to the elect, all right, right now, all right, and it's the gospel of love, man. All right. So it's, it reads, verse 13, it said, Nevertheless, all right, we according to his promise look for a new heaven and a new earth wherein the will of righteousness. So we want the righteous world, man. All right. That new heaven and new earth is talking about on earth 
where everything's going to be refreshed, man. All right? Righteousness is going to do well, man. It's not talking about a whole new um, earth and a whole new heaven. All right? It's just talking about wickedness going to be done away with and the world's going to be refreshed in righteousness, man. Kainos. All right? You need to, re to refresh, man. All right? So, um, yeah, man. All right? So, 